It really is exhausting covering Manchester United in the transfer window. It's only a couple of weeks since the Europa League final against Ajax, but we're already pretty exhausted covering it. And it looks like it's going to get no easier and no better. Antoine Griezmann was considered the priority for Manchester United this summer. The player that Jose Mourinho really wanted to help our goal scoring problems. But as you may have seen, there's been major developments in the last week or two weeks or so. And now there's been even more. First things first was a new Huawei advert, which is a mobile telephone company. Uh, they had Griezmann in a new advertising campaign and one minute and four seconds into the video, Griezmann looks at his watch and sees the name Jose staring back at him. He hangs up on the call. And for me, that immediately points towards the Paul Pogba and Adidas marketing campaign that went on all of last summer. Advertisements like this don't come up overnight. Of course, Huawei knew what they were doing by putting the name Jose on it. So did Griezmann. It makes it look like this whole thing has been months in the planning. And for me, it was the biggest hint so far that this major transfer was going to go through. Because as I said, you saw similarities to what went on with Adidas and Pogba. Maybe this was the start of Griezmann linking himself to Manchester United. But we were all waiting for that major decision. Was Atletico Madrid's transfer ban going to be upheld? The Court of Arbitration have ruled that Atletico Madrid's transfer ban is upheld. They cannot register any new players now until January 2018. A huge blow for Atletico Madrid in the transfer window. They already had a deal lined up to sign Leon's Alexandre Lacazette. That now cannot happen. It can happen like Arda Turan to Barcelona, but he can't be registered to play any games officially for them. And it throws a huge spanner into the works for Manchester United because the real concern over Griezmann was would he leave Atletico Madrid in the summer if they were not able to spend the money and sign a replacement? Now that is proven to be the case. They cannot sign a replacement if Antoine Griezmann left. So if they were to get a world record 100 million euros, all it could do would be collect interest in the bank account. And Griezmann, he's got a strong loyalty to Atletico Madrid. So it's always been a question mark of whether he would leave the club if they cannot sign a replacement. Now, prior to this transfer ban being upheld, the reports came out, I think, earlier this week or last week that he had actually handed in a transfer request, which Atletico Madrid swiftly denied. The whole thing has been messy so far, and I suppose major transfers are, but it's just got a little bit messier with the transfer ban, and then United themselves have decided to make it even messier and more confusing. Less than a couple of hours after Atletico Madrid's transfer ban has been upheld, Manchester United have briefed the press once again, just like they did with the David De Gea story a couple of days ago. They are saying that Man United have called their interest in Antoine Griezmann and that the real priority this summer has been a number nine because of Zlatan Ibrahimovic's injury. If you look here, you can see BBC Simon Stone reporting it and the usual suspects, The Telegraph's James Ducker, Manchester Evening News' Samuel Luckhurst, Rob Dawson from ESPN, all saying the same thing, that Man United have called their interest in, a, in Antoine Griezmann. While he may still be on the priority list, he is not the priority. And that it is now signing a number nine to replace the injured Ibrahimovic, which is Mourinho's main objective this summer. Do we really believe that? Let's be honest, Ibrahimovic has been injured for two months. I'm not sure why that decision would be taken now to, to not focus on Griezmann when that could have happened two months ago. Because Ibrahimovic has, as I said, been out for two months. He's had to go undergo surgery on a double ligament injury. So that's a real strange path for United to try and go down and explain as to why they're now not interested in Griezmann. It's probably far more likely that it's to do with the transfer ban. Could it be the fact that maybe Griezmann himself now doesn't want to leave Atletico Madrid and Manchester United know it? Could it be the fact that Man United were never willing to pay Antoine Griezmann's release clause and that they were intending to negotiate, which they now know is nigh on impossible following the transfer ban? Or maybe Manchester United didn't want to pay everything up front for Antoine Griezmann, would rather have paid that over a five-year period. And maybe Atletico Madrid didn't want that as if they had a transfer ban. We can only speculate, but one thing I'm certain of is that if Man United have called their interest in, a, in Antoine Griezmann, it has got fuck all to do with Latan Ibrahimovic's injury, which is what is being leaked towards the press. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's got to be to do with the transfer ban, which is what we all feared. 
And by the looks of it, the fears are either correct or they've at least muddied the situation even further. But what do you make of all this? Do you believe what United are telling the press? Do you think this is just a smokescreen and we're still signing Antoine Griezmann? Why do you think Huawei made that advert with Griezmann? <sighs> Let me know your thoughts on this because what seems a couple of days ago to be a transfer that was moving in the right direction, you understood the steps that were happening, the steps that were being taken in the press. It's like normal transfer rumours. And now I've had a massive U-turn because of this transfer ban, which we all knew that potentially was coming, and because of United now briefing the press that we're not interested in Griezmann and we're more interested in a number nine like Morata or Bellotti. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, drop a like on the video uh, if you'd like. Uh, subscribe to United People's TV. And as I said, get your thoughts in on this whole Griezmann deal because it's certainly looking a bit murky now.